Hey, this is Flo, and in this video I will show you one way of implementing something similar to the UI search controller from UIKit using plain Swift UI. And this is how it will look like in the end. Let me start the preview. So we will have some placeholder here in a vertical stack. Then we have our search bar. If we tap into it, then some uh, search re results are shown. Of course, we can enter some text. You could then filter these results. And then if you either hit enter on the keyboard or press cancel, everything animates back and you have your placeholder values back and the search bar is extended to the whole width. If you enjoy my content, then please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel because there's much more content to come in the near future. But let's get started now. Okay, so I have a very plain content view here and we are now going to get started with the implementation. So first of all, let's remove the text here and replace it with a VStack and I'd give it a leading alignment as well. This always looks pretty good, I would say. Inside of this VStack, I think we should start by adding the search bar. So to do that, let's create an HStack. Inside of this HStack, we will have an image for the magnifying glass and then our text field. So let's create a image from an SF symbol and this one is called magnifying glass. Okay, there you can see it. Let's give this image a foreground color and let's use an old UI color which is the light gray one. I think this is closest to how the um, UI search controller looks like. Next to this image we will now create a text field and we will use the initializer with the on editing changed and on commit closures. So let's select this one. Let's make this pretty. So one line per argument or one argument per line. Okay, like this. Now as a title, I will just put search. For the text, we now need a state variable. You can also move this to a view model, of course but I will just keep it like this. So now we can bind to our search string in the text field. Then the on editing changed and the on commit method. So actually we will not need the on commit closure. So we can just put an empty closure there. And in on editing changed, we are getting um, a Boolean that tells us whether we are editing or not. And um, Based on that, we want to show the results of the search or not show them. So for that, we need another state variable, state var show results, and let's initialize it to be false. And now in here, we can say show results is true if we're still editing and it's, or if the user starts editing and is false when the user ends editing. So this line is perfectly fine. Okay, then let's give all of this a bit of styling. So first of all, the text field should have a text field style of the plain text field style. Okay, so no border around it or anything. Let's have a look at uh, how this looks right now. Okay, and as you can see, we have the magnifying glass and our text field, but we want to make it a bit prettier. So let's grab the whole H tag. Let's give it a little bit of padding, let's say four pixels. And let's give it a background of a rounded rectangle with a corner radius of say also four pixels. And let's only stroke it. And as the color, we will once again use our light gray from before. And now if you have a look at the right here, this already looks pretty good. Okay. Now below um, our search bar basically, or actually um, there is also that cancel button on the side that we want to show if um, the user is searching currently. So let's grab the whole H stack and surround it in another H stack. So we can, um, if we show results, then we should show a button saying cancel which should set show results to false. So in the beginning, there won't be a button, but if we set show results to true, let's have a look at it like this. 
resume the preview, then there is a cancel button. Okay, let's set it back to false. Okay, now below all of that stuff, we can actually um, now think about what we want to show. So if show results is true, then we will just have a, a mocked list of results. Obviously, you would, you would get this from a view model normally. So I will just create a list here with a for each inside, which just for the sake of this video iterates over some random dummy numbers as self as an ID, just grabs a number in here. So this is a very, um, very normal dummy implementation for a list. And then in here, I just, for the sake of it, um, just print out the number as a text. And then if we are not showing the results, so initially before the user taps the search bar, then we just want to do something very similar. So actually I can just copy this for each from up here and just replace it with some other value. So obviously this should be your main interface then here. And I'll just put placeholder in there. Okay, and then we, since we are inside of a V stack, we want to push this up. So let's add a spacer below. We also forgot that we want something above the search bar and that is our header text. So we only want to show that if we are not showing the results. So if not show results, then let's just add a text called header. Of course, you could replace this with anything else. Let's adjust the font to the large title and let's adjust the font weight to semi bold, I would say. Okay, that should be good. Now, most of this should already work. So let's hit resume. Okay, um, initially this, this looks uh, very ugly. So um, let's go back to the V stack here and let's add some padding to it. And let's also, yeah, let's think about the next thing in just a second. So I will start the preview with the play button. Now you can see I can tap into the text field and instantly the results list is shown. And when I hit enter, then instantly the placeholder list is shown. So we actually want an animation here and this is, that is very easy. Just add the animation modifier. I like to use ease in out or spring, but I think in this case, ease in out makes more sense. And now you can see everything animates pretty nicely. Let's hit cancel. Okay, now the only issue that we still have is that we can still edit this text field, but um, no results are shown. And that's because we didn't dismiss the first re uh, the first responder or didn't resign the first responder. And to do that, we have to add a simple line or a simple function. So let's create a private func dismiss keyboard, for example. And in here, I will paste something. Okay, so this is a very simple function um, using Objective C selector methods to resign the first responder, so to basically take away the focus from the text field. So if I resume the preview now, nothing will change because we're not calling this function yet. But what we actually need to do is um, in our in our cancel button. So in here, we just need to call dismiss keyboard like this. Let's run again, enter something in the search bar, hit cancel, and you will notice the focus is no longer in the text field. And if I hit it again, then it gets focused again, and our results are shown. I click cancel, and the focus is gone again. Okay, so that's it for this uh, very quick video on how to recreate some UI kit elements in SwiftUI. If you liked it, Please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.